CIG confirms that we will see the new ships in the P2 before IAE. We got a new patch. Let's talk. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTI Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. Guys, um, we just got a new Star System Alpha 3.24.3 P2 patch. And the testing focus is really interesting. So this one says today's build does not have new ships available yet. We are planning on adding these during P2 phases for 3.24.3 before release, which means the RSI Polaris, the um, Star Lancer, uh, Max, um, the Intrepid, the new Terrapin, all these ships will be available during the PTU phases before the actual IAE event, just so we can test it. So really exciting. So any day now we may start seeing these new ships, really exciting stuff. All right. So let's get into the patch notes here. They made a few updates under uh, features and gameplay under the ships and vehicles category. They've aligned the Mistar fairer announciator to be vertical and made smaller. They under Cortec, they made further weapon particle GPU performance improvements. They made further entity spawner reliability improvements, and they added a main thread graph to the R display frame graph. Really interesting. They have a few bug fixes for this one. They fixed an issue where permanent incapacitated audio loop after uh, respawning. So they said they fixed this last time, but I guess it didn't work. So I guess they fixed it again. They uh, fixed an issue where there is a duplicate hangar platform that can appear on floor one of the 890 jump. They fixed an issue where the Cutlass Blue spawns in the PU and Arena Commander with no fuel tanks. They fixed an issue where hole in the floor inside of a building in Bloodshot Ridge. They fixed an issue where terminals of medical beds are black. They fixed an issue where the Tumbro Cyclone MT missile racks are not functioning. They, they fixed an aspect ratio of the Freelancer and Star Fairer Annunciator panels. They fixed an issue where there are replacement balls on the inside of the derelict reclaimer cockpit and bridge star stair area and entrance. They fixed an issue where the quantum travel starts and then stops. This is for multiple vehicles. They fixed an issue where the Aegis Saber has pixelated reflection texture on the cockpit canopy glass along with this is two client crash fixes and five server crash fixes before i let you go i'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you are interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one